Hello, makers, and welcome back to Making with Ms. Dobras. All right, you're going to like this one today. We're going to go big. We're making giant tetrahedrons out of rolled up pieces of paper. We're focusing on building three-dimensional shapes, and this is one really fun way to explore 3D shapes. Big. Makers like to do different iterations or different prototypes of the same thing. So trying to make the same 3D shape, but out of different materials and different sizes and different ways. So here is a really easy way to build three-dimensional shapes, and it's just using rolled up paper. All right, so today's design challenge is to make a giant tetrahedron. You, of course, know what a tetrahedron is because we all just made little tetrahedrons the other day, and then we made four tetrahedrons and built them into a little pyramid, which is called Sierpinski's Pyramid. And now it's time to go big. All right, for this project, all you need is paper, you need some clear tape, and you need a pencil. Let's get to it. So you need a stack of white paper today, okay? You probably need about 10 pieces of white paper. And you can use recycled paper, you can also use magazine paper, something that someone's gonna throw away but they should be rectangular. Okay, these are the materials you need today. You need paper, you need tape, and you need a pencil. It could be regular tape or masking tape. Um, all right, so we're gonna take this pencil. We're actually not gonna use it to write with. We're gonna use it to roll up our piece of paper. So watch this. I'm gonna turn it so the point is facing my tummy, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna wrap this pencil up. Now the key to this is you don't want to do it too tight. You want to be able to get the pencil out. So you want to roll it up not too tight but not too loose and as you roll it up you're gonna to have to move it towards you again. That pencil is gonna disappear okay and then I have to hold it and while I get a piece of tape which can be a little hard so you may need a helper for this one and then I am gonna take my piece of tape and I'm going to tape that tip right there. And then, look at that, the pencil's already coming out. And then I'm going to tilt it over and get the pencil out, okay? If you roll it too tight, you might not be able to get the pencil out, but it's pretty easy to do. So you take the pencil out. So once we remove the pencil from this, this is what we're going to work with today, okay? We're going to make our own materials. All right, here we have it. So here is one, and we're going to need to make seven today. So. We're going to have to do a lot of work. You're going to need seven pieces of paper. It doesn't have to be um, the same kind of paper, but it needs to be the same size, okay? I'm going to have to fast forward this scene. All right, almost done, the last one. So you take this corner, and one thing I forgot to say is you push it all the way across to the other corner. And that's the way to get a consistent same length about. They might be a little different. And sometimes it's easier to take that pencil out before you tape it together. All right. Woo, here we go. We got seven. This is going to be fun. All right. So now you take the end and then you just fold over about a half an inch. Okay. You fold over. Whatever you fold on one side, you do on the other side. It could be about an inch to a half an inch. Whatever you do, do it on both sides. So now we're going to make a triangle out of these. Okay, let's start with two. So we're going to take a piece of tape. And we're going to take these two ends and we're going to tape them together. Do you see that? We just tape those together. And then they bend like that. Do you see that? Okay. So now I'm going to make a triangle. I'm going to tape these two here. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. All right, look at that's the start. There's our first triangle. Okay, so if I am going to make a tetrahedron, whoop, a tetrahedron, this is going to be one side. 
I'm making a big tetrahedron now. Okay, so after you get one side of your tetrahedron, the challenge is how to build out the other sides and how to attach them together. And I'm actually not going to tell you how to do it. I want you to try to figure it out. Think of it like a puzzle or a challenge, and I want you to really embrace the challenge. And one thing that I noticed is I got better at it as I made another one. So the first one was pretty messy. And then as I made another one, I started to figure out how that fit together a little bit better, and I made it a little stronger. Um, and so I ended up making two, and that is the part that I find really exciting, is trying to figure out how to build it. Okay, that's how this class is a little different than a traditional art class. I'm not going to tell you how to do it. The power is in the process. You figuring out how to put this together to make a tetrahedron. And you might figure out one way that, and someone else might figure out a different way. And it's okay. There's more than one way to do it. And then once you make one, if you're really feeling inspired, you can make another. And you can put them together to make all kinds of cool shapes. You can do them with other materials. That's always really fun. And there's one thing that's kind of cool. You can make a tetrahedron star by putting one tetrahedron inside the other tetrahedron. But you have to do it before you complete them. You have to insert this one in here. Oh, maybe I can do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can do it. So there. I think I did it. You can put one tetrahedron inside of another tetrahedron. And then, of course, you might need to tape it to the side. And, and that is called a tetrahedron star. And there's all kinds of art that has this, this shape in it. But you kind of got to tweak it and make it look good, figure out your corners. But yes, there is a way to put a tetrahedron inside of another tetrahedron to make a really cool star. So that's something fun that you can challenge yourself to try to do if you want to. Or you can just keep with a giant tetrahedron. All right, I'm going to take these apart carefully. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. All right, have fun with it and explore this shape and make all different sizes and all different kinds. That's all for now. Bye. Stay safe and keep on making.